Hello, and welcome to the Innovative Mindset Podcast. I'm your host, Isolde Trachtenberg. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate your time and attention. I am talking to you about balance today. It's a great mindfulness practice on so many levels. And I don't know if you know, but every Friday, I am currently choosing every, every Friday, I'm choosing a card out of my mindful creative deck that I've created, that I've designed and developed to help with both mindfulness and creativity, the combination thereof. And I'm choosing a card and I'm talking about how it applies and relates to a mindfulness practice. And today it's about balance. And I'm going to put the card in the show notes like I usually do. And this is, balance is a couple of different things. In the card, you see someone juggling. Uh, they are juggling coins in this case. So juggling the notion of juggling your time versus money is a big part of it. And there's also what they're thinking about them versus what they have to do. What they have to do is office work, right? there. So there's a computer and a briefcase and all this other stuff. And what the person is dreaming about is a vacation, right? This beautiful tropical beach. And that's all depicted on the card. And it's something that I'm thinking about a lot right now because, boy, I could use a vacation. That is for sure. And uh, it's an important thing, isn't it? it? Like what you need to do versus what you want to do. And ultimately, balancing those two is important, but sometimes converging both of them is also important. In other words, if you are mindful, you might be able to take what you need to do and transform it into what you want to do. In other words, you will find what you love about the thing you need to do and so it becomes more of a thing you want to do in addition to the fact that you need to do it, right? That the, that the schedule is calling for you to take care of thing X, thing Y, thing, thing Z, thing A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And you, you need to do those in order to live the life that you've decided you're going to live. You need to accomplish all of these different things. That's part of it, right? That's part of the, of, of balancing everything. You balance your checkbook, you balance your, your food groups, you balance all sorts of things. And that's part of it. You have all of these things that you are required to balance, but in a mindful state, you're balancing again, what you need to do versus what you want to do. And sometimes that works and sometimes it does not. So as you're trying to do that, being mindful of the requirements on you, is an important part of how you achieve that mindful state, right? If you can balance, I need to do this with, I get to do this, or I want to do this, then you've got it, right? And in fact, I think it might be that notion of transforming, I need to do this into, I want to do this by thinking about, I get to do this, right? If you can change your perspective to one of something that's mindful and one that's uh, about discovery, what can you discover about the thing that you want to do or that you have to do, I should say, what can you discover about it to make it something that you are delighted in pursuing? And that's, uh, that's huge, isn't it? Like, what if you could do that? What if you could take the thing that you need to do, the thing you're required to do, and transmogrify it, to quote Calvin of Calvin and Hobbes, and transmogrify it into something that you get to do, you're joyful to do, because you've gotten to that place of sheer wonder and, and discovery about every little thing through the practice of mindfulness. It's a weird one, isn't it? It's a weird way of looking at balance but it's crucial. I mean, I can look at it from the perspective of yoga and balancing in, in some of these incredible poses that people can do. I can barely do tree pose and I've been <laughs> practicing for over 20 years. And, and yet, can you imagine what it would be like if you could practice in that way? How cool would that be if you could find the, the front and the back and the left and the right and the give and the take of whatever it is that you are trying to achieve in a way that makes you feel delighted and in a position of discovery for everything that you do? Wouldn't that be cool? 
So that's something for you, for you to think about and for me to think about as I sit here and I, this is another one of my, uh, outdoor episodes. I'm in my car. The, the, the street I live on is quite wide. And yet there were one, two, three, four, five cars parked, basically blocking the whole street, right? <laughs> it was just, just watching it was hilarious because there was no way the FedEx truck that was uh, trying to get by was going to be able to get by. And several people honked, but New Yorkers can be very good about these things. They can be very Zen. They can kind of go, well, this is the moment where I can choose to get angry and honk, or I can just chill out. And there were, as I said, five cars all abreast trying to get through, but they were all being blocked completely by, by, by themselves and each other. And several of them, nobody, I think one person honked, everybody else kind of went, oh, this is New York. And that's kind of how I feel about um, balancing my need to create this podcast with the construction that's going on. I can't do anything about the construction. It's going to be happening for the next, I don't know how long, probably as, as I've said before, till we move out, they probably will not be done with this house that they're renovating next door to us. And so the jackhammers will be going on forever and ever. Amen. And these things happen. And... So, so I had to balance my desire to make the podcast with the resources I have available. And the resource I have available is I sit in my car and I bring out a microphone and this is where I do my show for huge chunks of time. (laughs) Then not much I can do about it. It is what it is. Anyway, I really want to encourage you to think about that notion of balance, what you need to do with what you want to do and transform it into equaling what you get to do. If you can find what delights you about the thing you're trying to achieve, you will make all sorts of magic. Until next time, this is Isolde Trachtenberg reminding you that innovation is creativity meeting a problem to solve. And that I hope you will be bold, be creative, and most of all, be kind as you search for those solutions. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. Please subscribe to the podcast if you're new, and it would mean the world to me if you told a friend about it. Today's episode was produced by Isolde Trachtenberg and is copyright 2021. As always, please remember this is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Past performance does not guarantee future results, although we can always hope. Until next time, remember to be bold, be creative, and most of all, be kind.